Alright, Amstrad fans, look what I've got for you today. A brand new game on the Amstrad CPC called Cyber Chicken. And yes, this game originally was um, made for a competition run by the CPC Wiki website and forum called the 16 Kilobyte Game uh, Competition, whatever. And uh, the programmers had about roughly six months to uh, code a game that took no more than 16 kilobytes of memory and enter it. And uh, this was the runner up, and very good it was too. In fact, the programmer uh, TFM he decided to do an enhanced version for 64K computers, like the uh, there you go, the uh, CPC 464, looking rather dusty there. Oops. And the 6128s, and we'll be using the 6128 Plus to play this on and release this. And you can still, I think, if you're very quick, go and buy a copy of this from his website. Link in the in the description below. And I think you're selling on eBay as well. But there's only very, very few copies left. And a very, very cool package it is as well. There's the back of the box. I think what I have to do is because the camera is not going to focus on the bits there, so I'll edit in an image, and I'll read this out to you now. Okay, an army of dedicated PC chicken hunters succeeded. Our planet is free of the terrible chicken plague, or at least it was. Now a new danger looms on the horizon, and this time it comes from in the infinite depths of space. They're back. Cyber chickens from outer space are threatening our planet. You see, they want to avenge their earthly brothers. Alert! Cyber chicken alarm! Man the battle stations! Take up arms! Prevent the earth from turning into one big chicken shack. Hmm. That's the backstory. And that's all you'll get in the instructions as well. And features eight levels. More than 45 sprites on the screen. Pixel scrolling in each direction. Up to 50 frames per second 3D graphics in the 128K version. And we can play with a keyboard, joystick, or mouse. Hmm, interesting. Let's see if we can have a, just a quick look inside the box. And what goodies do we have here? Ah, yes. Hmm. A beautiful 3-inch disc that the Amstrad used to use. Marvellous. Take out this. Da, da, da. Okay, we've got some instructions there and something else. Loading instructions in different languages. Some advertising in the credits there as well. Will it focus? Come on, camera. No. Okay, the producer was Marco. Code by TFM. Graphics by McDeff and TFM. Sound by Tom and Jerry. FX by TFM. And total picture by Devil Marcus and TFM. Okay. There it is in full, and uh, I think I know what this will be. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. I'm not used to this filming live with a camera malarkey. This crappy, crappy digital camera. Ah, yes. A cyber chicken poster. Awesome. Right. Well, I'm um, going to make a quick edit jump, and we'll get the game in and loaded. Actually, we might as well just feed it in now. go. Just move this out the way. Oh dear. Okay. Switch on the trusty Amstrad monitor and 6128. Oh, and it's cr <laughs> it's crashed. Brilliant. Let's wiggle the cart. Check the connections. Let's try again. Hey! Right. We'll go to Amstrad Basic, type in the usual commands, cat, see what files are on the disk. Okay, we're going to do run disk. Oh, I need to. I'm doing this in one hand, of course, so I have to type it all in, not use the control up. Okay, I'll make an edit cut here and we'll start loading the game. Okay, right, I've got the camera set up, nicely zoomed in, lots of awful flicker. Let's start this up. Run disk. And I'm going to be using my trusty Conic speaking with two fire buttons there. Ha! Ooh, nice loading screen. You 
you might get an idea what this game's about from that actually. There we go, here's the title screen. A nice colourful flashing uh, Cyber Chicken logo there. Got some options there, Le the level we can go on. I think it goes up to level 8. Okay, I'm not sure what Strikes Near and Far does. Number 3, display Top 12 Warriors. Ah, high score table. And you can load and save that as well. Awesome. Uh, let's go to the options menu. Uh, aim and shoot. We've got joystick or mouse options. Interesting. I wonder if the AMX mouse works on this. Sound and song. Which we'll have effects or the song. Or, or effects and the song. Okay, we'll stick with that. Some colour options for your monitor. And then you can have cannon on and crosshairs on. Ah, uh, cool. Here's the main menu then with the music. I think we'll just start off on level one and see how we do. Okay. Ah, uh, right. So move your crosshairs and blast the chickens. And there's loads of them. Some nice animation. Lovely music from the always excellent Tom and Jerry. And it, I think you need to stop them from going to the far right of the screen. Now guys, this is about the first time I've played this. I, I did briefly play the, uh, the 16 kilobyte version, so I roughly know what this game's about. But, other than, uh, but only for about a couple of minutes. Enjoyable as it was. So, um, for once, I don't really have a clue what's going on. But it looks like a pretty simple and straightforward game. Um, there's no other instructions to tell you if there's anything else. And what exactly the point of it is, I think you need to stop them from getting to the far right of the screen. And eventually they will shoot at you as well. Well, okay, there's a lot on screen at the moment. And you just begin to slow, have some slowdown. Um, he does boast that it's 50 frames per second. Which is very impressive on the Amstrad. Normally the best it can manage is about 25 frames per second. Whoa, okay. Okay, we need to do better here. Lovely music. Nice graphics, details, nice animation. Lack of colours, but that's in this is in mode one. Which means a high resolution, but only about four colours on the screen. I think this works quite well actually in four colours. Okay, we reached the far left of the screen there. Alright, oh, okay, we've completed level one and we get a time bonus. There we go. Oh, okay, high score table. Uh, it's up and down to choose your character by. Yes. I don't think you can type it in on the keyboard. Let's just try that. Uh, no, just with the joystick. Okay, that's really, really good stuff. I think what we'll do next is try a couple more levels. There we go. I'm not going to save this. I think the disc is still right protected. It will probably fail. So uh, I won't save my high score. Let's crank up the level. Let's move up to... Let's go level 5 out of 8. See how hard it gets. 
And what we'll do is we will turn... We'll have the effects on. And see what... Okay. Is it... We didn't get many uh, sound effects with the music in game. Okay. On the bottom status bar there, we've got the score in the bottom left corner. Time ticking down on the right. I presume when time runs out, if you haven't killed all the chickens, it's game over. Whoa, I'm getting behind here. Oh, there's some um, oh, there's an acceleration uh, as well on the crosshairs. Okay. I don't know what that thing is in the, in the middle of the status bar, that little symbol. I presume that's either your energy level or like your gun overheating or something. Oh, okay, they get smaller and smaller there. Oh, God. Oh, I'm right at the far right of the screen. Oh, geez, what a couple of escape there. Nice picture of the earth there. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, I've totally screwed this up. Oh, oh, look at the bottom middle of the status bar. There's a line there that's sort of increasing. Chicken overrun. Wow. Okay. That was quite difficult. Hmm. I'll have to get practicing on that. I'm not going to bother entering my score there. Cool. I think the last thing we'll look at very quickly then is the like the hardest level to see how difficult that is. All of the effects in the song again. Go up to level eight and see how mental that is. What does the second fire button do? Oh, I've got a new weapon. It fires yellow, yellow ones. What's the difference between the two? Whoa, oh, wow, I'm getting creamed here. What on earth is happening? I think I'm getting shot a lot. Ah, oh, yes, they turn and face you, they will shoot at you by the looks of it. <laughs> oh, okay, this is like near impossible. <laughs> Fair enough. And everything's going a bit slow as well. But yeah, this is simple, good fun. Oh, man. I like crosshair shooty games actually quite a lot. Like Operation Wolf is one of my favourites. Oh, there's a spaceman there. Oh my god, I think I'm nearly dead. I don't think you've got any way of missing those shots, like a shield or anything. And I think it'll be game over very, very soon. Oh man. But yeah, this is good fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth buying a new game in uh, Amstrad game in 2014. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, this level is impossible. I did ask the programmer if this, if it is possible to complete the game, if like, there's an ending. Uh, and he said, well, it goes up to level 8, and level 8 is impossible. <laughs> that was his answer. Yes. 
you got killed. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. I don't have about 30 seconds left though, so I didn't do too bad. So there we go, that's Cyber Chicken. Um, I suppose I'll also give you a review score. Um, simple stuff. Uh, very well executed though. Uh, perhaps may like lack of variety in the long run, but still an excellent, excellent game. Um, yeah, this gets an uh, eight and a half out of ten from me. There you go, guys. That's Cyber Chicken. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back again very soon because uh, I've also just received this which was the winner of the uh, 16 kilobyte game competition on a cassette no less as well hey. which I'll probably have it be having a look at soon as well so but that's cyber chicken that's awesome stuff go and buy it while there's still copies left thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon cheers